Hello and welcome to our Fetch Wallet tutorial series. In this video, I will walk you through the process of using the in wallet redelegation feature. Redelegation is a function of the Fetch AI network that allows users to move their staked FET tokens from one validator to another without having to unbond and miss out on rewards for those 21 days of unbonding. However, once you have redelegated, you must wait another 21 days before you can redelegate once again. There are many reasons a user may want to redelegate, such as if the validator that you're staking with has downtime and gets jailed, you may want to move to another validator to not miss out on rewards. Some users may also redelegate just to split their stake between multiple validators, or even just move to a validator they have a new positive outlook on. But with that in mind, let's get started. First, we're going to click on the stake button in the wallet homepage. Then, in the top right, we're going to navigate over to the My Stake tab. And here you will see only validators that you are actually staking with instead of the entire list. Now, we're going to select the validator that we plan to redelegate from, and we'll go down here to the Transfer tab. Here we can also see across from Select Validator that we can actually click on this dropdown and look through all of the different validators that are on the network to redelegate to. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to select Geostaking. Then, you're going to input the amount of FET that you would like to redelegate. Keeping in mind, you actually don't have to just redelegate the entire amount. You can select partial amounts or the full amount, it is entirely up to you. And there also is no minimum of redelegation amounts. Then, once you've selected the amount, click Transfer. From here, just scroll down to the very bottom, and I'm going to allow it to stay at average gas, but you can select any of the options you wish, and then we are going to approve the transaction. Once the transaction has been broadcasted, now we're just waiting for it to be approved. Now that the transaction has been successfully completed, now once again, we can actually check to see if the redelegation was successful by clicking on the stake button, going over to the my stake tab, and as you can see here, we are now staking with two validators, successfully doing our redelegation. Thank you for watching this wallet tutorial, and if you have any questions about redelegation or any of the other wallet features, definitely let us know in the comments down below, and we will try to get back to you promptly.